Hey, what's up? Yes, we is here for programming solutions. And today we are going to see a new video in our series Tricky MCQs Explain. This is the video related with pointers. So I have my friend with me, Mr. Abhijit. He will explain you the questions. So let's get started with the questions directly. What will be the output of following code? Here there are two statements inside main function. First one is the character pointer declaration and the second one is a printf statement. Now as you can see inside printf statement there is size of operator. Size of operator gives the number of bytes taken by its operand. So p is a character pointer which needs one byte for storing its value which is nothing but a character. Hence size of star p gives a value of 1. And size, since it needs two bytes to store the address of the character pointer, size of p gives two bytes. Here one thing is important. Size of p is compiler dependent. Let's see the second question. What will be the output of this code? Here first there is a character array s. Then there are three pointer character pointers declared. P is pointing to character slash n. str1 is pointing to character a. Now plus plus star p that is p is pointing to slash n and that is incremented by 1. The ASCII value of slash n is 10 which is then incremented to 11. Now the value of plus plus star p will become 11. Secondly plus plus star str1 as str1 is pointing to a and that is again incremented by 1 so it becomes b and as key value of b is 98 finally inside printf statement if we evaluate this expression like plus plus star p that is 11 plus 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 star str1 that is 98 minus 32 we will get 77. So the final output will be 77 and it represents a character M. Let's come to the third question. This is a tricky one. As you can see there is a names two dimensional array and there are some assignments. So first of all whenever there is a declaration of or definition of array then you should be knowing that arrays are constant pointers. That means value of array pointer can't be changed. Though a value pointed by that array can be changed. Means the content of array can be changed. But the pointer of the array can't be changed. So whenever we try to modify the pointer constants compiler will throw us an error. That's why the answer will be a compiler error as L value required in function main. And this error will come at line number 5 where we are trying to modify the names uh, array pointer with something new that is invalid. So one more thing to note in this question is the word static used in the definition is irrelevant and is to just confuse the students. Let's come to the fourth question. Inside for this question there is use of void pointer. Since a void pointer is used it can be typecasted to any other type pointer. Let's say vp equals to and of ch stores the address of char ch. And the next statement prints the value stored in VP after typecasting it to the proper data type pointer. So the output of the first printf statement will be G. Similarly, the output from the second printf is 20. The third printf statement is typecasted to print the string. So the output will be FY for the final printf statement. Hence, the answer will be G20FY. Let's come to the fifth question. 
In this problem, we have an array of char pointers pointing to the start of four strings. Then we have a pointer, which is a pointer to a pointer of type char. Then again we have a variable p, which is a pointer to a pointer to a pointer of type char. P holds the initial value of point ptr, that is s plus three. The next statement increments value in p by one. Now the value of p is s plus two. In the printf statement, the expression is evaluated star plus plus p. That causes value of p to be s plus one. Then the pre decrement is executed. And we get s plus one minus one, that is s. The indirection operator now gets the value from the array of s and adds three to the starting address. The string is printed starting from this position. Thus, the output is c k. Here, you have to note that you have you have to carefully track the each and every single changes inside the code that is where plus plus is done how minus minus is done how indirection is done that matters a lot thank you guys please give us your response via comments likes and ratings if you have any suggestions please let us know we will try to improve that stay tuned thank you